Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anand speaking. So in our last video, we saw about uh, how to calculate returns of LIC's new G1 on an insurance plan. So it's not actually an insurance plan, it's an insurance come investment plan. If you're not watched it, the link is there in the description down below, you can watch it. In my last video, I did not cover an important aspect of the rate of return calculation. So that's something called CAGR. It's cumulative annual growth rate. So when you're putting some money in an investment product, and uh, you wait for a certain number of years and then you get a return so you need to calculate what's the average rate of return that you're getting per year so this number this percentage is actually the one that you have used to compare investment products and there are some investment products like fixed deposits and public provident fund which tells you what's the annual rate of return that you, you can expect like 8.7 percentage in case of PPL but in case of uh, LAC's new G1 on plan, they do not say what's the percentage that you are expected to get. They just tell you raw numbers. So we have to calculate what's the expected rate of return that you can expect out of these such plans. So that's again expected, but it may really vary depending on the bonus rate that's declared by LAC every year. But we have to arrive at a certain percentage that we can expect to get at an average every year. This number you have to calculate for any investment product if you want to compare them. In this video, we're going to see how to calculate the CAGR and how to calculate the CAGR for LIC's new G1 on plan. Let's first look at the basics. Let's say you know the CAGR or the interest rate and then you want to calculate the final value. In case of bank fixed deposits, you know the interest rate. So let's see how to calculate the final value. So let's say initial value is 1000 rupees, CAGR is say 10% and then uh, so you're invested for let's say two years. What's the final value? What's the formula? Yeah, by the way, CAGR can be said as a compounded annual growth rate also. So the formula is one plus the rate of return, power of the number of years, and you multiply that with the initial value. So this is the amount you would have at the end of uh, second year with the 10% CAGR. Let's come to the CAGR formula now. So you know the initial value say 1000 rupees and the final value 1500 rupees. Number of years is say three years and you want to know what's the annual rate of return that you're getting. The formula is actually a derivation of the formula we applied here. Let's see what it is. It's final value divided by initial value to take a root based on the number of years. Then subtract it with minus one and multiply it with 100. So that's the percentage. So you're getting 14.47 percentage. So this is the basics of uh, CAGR. Now let's go to Jeevan Anand plan. The trick here is that uh, in Jeevan Anand you'll be investing every year. It's not a single investment but ultimately you'll be getting the final amount only one time. So there we have to form a table so we'll see how it is. Here it is, a table full of numbers. Don't be scared. I have an easier to use tool for calculating this CAGR but I'll tell you that uh, later in the video. By doing this in Excel sheet or spreadsheet, we'll get to know how to calculate the CAGR. Let me give you an idea of what all these columns correspond to. So the first column contains the amount of premium that we are paying every year. The second column contains the number of years each premium is invested for. So it's in the decreasing order. Then the third column contains the value of every premium at the time of maturity. Here in this column, I've applied the compounded annual return formula for every premium. And the, for example purpose here, we are considering the CAGR rate of 2%. So you add all these maturity values together and come up with a sum. The idea here is that you need to keep changing the CAGR value such that the final value here becomes 49,80,000 that we saw in another video. I have done some trial and error in the background. So the value is 7.77%. And for 7.77%, the final value at maturity is like 49.9 lakhs, closer to 49.8 lakhs that we saw for Jivanan plan. So this 7.77 percentage is the expected uh, CAGR for new Jivanan plan. So as I said in, earlier in the video, there is a simpler and easier to use tool online for calculating the CAGR. So let's see what that is. Okay, I'll share the link for this tool in the description below. So this tool basically gives you the compounded annual growth rate for a set of characters. So let's put this tool into use for our Jeevan Anand plan. So the amount can, you can invest today is zero. Leave this as zero. This, is, this one is a regular monthly investment, but we are paying LIC Jeevan Anand premiums every year, not every month. So we can calculate what's the monthly premium that would have been. 
divide the yearly premium by 12 and you get the monthly premium. That is 2,356 and 83 paise. And then the investment period, we know it's 35 years. Yeah. We know already 7.71% rate, so calculate. So here it comes, 49.8 lakhs. So the number is not exactly matching with what we calculated in the spreadsheet because there we were using uh, annual premiums and here we're using monthly premium amount. So here we go, so again I repeat, somehow arrive at a expected CAGR for any investment product before you start on it. Thanks for watching all through the video. I hope you found something useful from this video. Feel free to share it with your friends. If you had really liked it, give a thumbs up and share some comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching again. See you in my next video.